Hey guys, I just wanted to show you guys, this is where all the tree stumps were, and they come out here yesterday and took all the tree stumps away and actually leveled it down to where it ain't nothing but sand, which looks a lot better than the tree stumps. And then they kind of pushed all the sand right there. So it's just a big open clear spot now. And there's lots of trucks on the other side of my trailer over there. I don't know what they're doing, but I'll show you that in a minute. This is the driveway. All these trucks are in here today. I don't know exactly what they're doing. There's some, and then there's one over there. They're doing something with that big tractor. That's what I woke up to this morning. I got up with my husband this morning, but then I laid back down for a little bit because I didn't sleep good last night. And uh, they woke me up. My husband's been trying to fix our lawnmower. We had to get a new carburetor for it. We got two push mowers. We got one that runs great, but that one there been giving us a little bit of a fit so I just wanted to show you those I'm gonna turn the phone around and kind of give you a little update okay guys as you just seen they're still working in here still got all those big trucks still got uh, things going on I don't know what they're doing over there messing with a big old tractor or something but anyway they cleaned off all this land behind us and um, that's pretty much all they've done. There's a few days they didn't do anything around here. And then this, the last couple of days they've started back up. But um, just wanted to do a quick little update. I haven't updated you guys in a couple of days. Um, we have been really busy and I'm tired. <laughs> um, I think the last thing that I told you guys is, you know, we found the lot. I showed you the lot. Um, I took a couple of days, went over there. We had to cut the grass. There was a couple big piles of old dry leaves with, had all kind of bottles and, and briars and all kind of junk in it. So I went over there one day while my husband was at work and uh, got up all the leaves. And I'm going to tell you what, <laughs> that wore me out. I spent about four hours over there and staying bent over so much and just putting leaves in bags trying to get rid of them um it really made me sore the next day i knew it was going to um the whole back of my legs everything was so sore i couldn't hardly walk the next day and i'm still a little bit sore today but i'm getting better and better every day but i got all the leaves up set one little pile that's going to be in our backyard but i'm just gonna kind of do that later maybe after we get the trailer over there i'll do that but um we got the yard looking good. My husband went over there yesterday because he was all, and me and him went over there. And I got up the rest of the little bit of leaves that I didn't get up. And we took all the bags of leaves and uh, junk off. But there was a bunch of stumps and different things like that. Pieces of dead tree. It took all that off. And uh, he trimmed up that ditch real good because it was full of briars and um, different little uh, bushes and things like that so he trimmed all that down and made it look so much better we ended up going to walmart we had to buy a new mailbox because of the one that's over there doesn't have a door on it and it's just barely on the post so we bought a new mailbox and uh, we had to go buy ink so we could print off some paperwork that was sent to us and then the other day i think it was monday evening the men that's going to move the mobile home met us out here we signed the paperwork we had to go get permits yesterday and and i mean it was just a full day of work yesterday and then we had church that evening because my husband teaches the wednesday night um bible study at our church so i think we ate dinner like at nine forty-five last night and um you know it was a full day and i did get to stay home for a little while and rest in the recliner for about an hour and a half 
but he went from the time we got up at 6.30 yesterday morning till last night, so I know he was exhausted, and then he, of course, has to get back up and go to work today, but uh, those trucks are pulling out now, but anyway, um, the man said that more than likely today that I'm recording this is Thursday, um, more than likely next Wednesday or Thursday is they're going to move our trailer out. So this will be our last full week here. Um, everything's been going great. You know, like I said, ever since this started, we have really been blessed. People have given us money to help move. And um, just everything's been falling in place. We got a nice lot that we like. And um, our buildings are going to be moved. And... Um, I don't know yet if the man, you know, the man's going to pay to move our mobile home. I don't know if he's going to move our buildings. So if not, we got to move them. They said it's going to cost about $450 to move both buildings. We do got to clean them out, so we're going to have to do that this weekend. Sunday's the only day that I can get my son over here because, you know, we need a little muscle with that, with all this tool. Actually, I have a man coming today hopefully maybe he'll buy all the tools that we have for sale he's coming to look at them but anyway that would be nice we wouldn't even have to move them but uh except the ones you know that my husband's keeping of course he ain't gonna get rid of all of his tools i think i'm gonna pull in all my christmas totes into the house out of my building instead of actually moving them because we're gonna have to put everything in a in like a storage building for a month and then get our buildings set up and then move our stuff back into our buildings because um, once we have to clean it out for them to move it and when we don't have anywhere to put our stuff you know for them to move it and set it back up so we was just gonna put it in a storage building for a month but I think since it's gonna be so close to November by the time we get set up and get every, get back in the trailer that um, I'm just gonna put all my Christmas totes in the trailer and um, I'll have them. I won't have to go to the storage building. I won't have to move them to the storage building. And I won't have to go to the storage building to get them. They'll already be in the mobile home. That way, you know, after I get everything else put back together, my home put back together, then I'll be able to start uh, decorating for Christmas. And, you know, right now my mind's like, oh, don't even think about decorating for Christmas. Because I've had so much going on, been so busy, and I'm already so tired that I'm like, I don't even want to think about decorating for Christmas. But once that time comes and everything's settled back down, I will think I'll be ready to hopefully decorate some for Christmas. It may not be, you know, it may not be me going all out. I don't know. It's according to how I feel. I'm, I'm hoping to have a week or two there that I can rest a little, and then I'll get back to um, decorating for Christmas. I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> I'm not saying I ain't. I'm. I'm not saying that I'm not going to decorate for Christmas because I really want to. Y'all know me. I love Christmas, so I'm gonna push through and try to. After all this is done, get um get decorated for Christmas also. So it'll be in the house ready. We have been doing so much as far as the yard work over yonder, things around here, getting the buildings um, ready, you know, going through our stuff, getting rid of stuff, selling stuff. I sold a piece of furniture out of my building, and the woman was going to redo it. She sent me a picture of it, and it was beautiful how she redone it. She repainted it and everything, and she sent me a picture of it, and it, it was so pretty. I'm like, wow, that was nice. But I had to get rid of it, you know. I didn't want to have to move it. So I've been selling a lot of stuff. I'm still selling on eBay, but my sales, of course, have slowed down because of me not listing. I haven't, I listed a few of my husband's tools on there, and that's the last thing I listed on there. But I've still been having a gradual sale here and there. Um, like, matter of fact, I got one right now. I got to go take to the post office. We did sell a boat. I think I told you guys that. But, um, Right now, I'm going to help a friend of mine that don't have a, a car right now. I'm going to take her to an appointment. So, I told her, she said, I hate to ask you, you know, right now with everything going on. But, you know, I really need a way to this appointment. So, I'm going to take her to her appointment. And, you know, I dedicated these few hours to her <laughs> for that. I'm like, well, I need to rest a little bit today anyway. I'm not 
push to do anything right now. I have packed up a lot of my stuff and pulled stuff down that we're not using, but there's still a lot of things that we have to use. So we can't really like tear the house down till the last day, you know, as far as laying things down on the floor and all that because we're still using it. So this time next week, we should be moving out of here and moving on to our new lot. And uh, I'll be glad to get this over with so we can relax and rest a little bit. I know my husband's tired because he's still working through all this. And I'm doing a lot of the labor here because he's working. Yeah, I'm trying to get things done and run around, take care of things. There's probably some other things that I ain't even thinking of right now that I've done. Um, but uh, it's, a, it's a list, I tell you. It's a list of things. You know, you don't realize. Oh. I have been, I know one thing, I've been going through my house since I was starting to take things down out of my cabinets, all that. Y'all know I fixed my cabinets, one thing, I told y'all that in one of my last updates. I had to car, literally carjack my cabinets up and screw them in the wall and fix them, level them up. It hasn't rained since then, so I don't know if the rain's still going to come in or not, but anyway, I've done that. And then, of course, you know, you start moving things and you start seeing things that need to be cleaned. So I've been cleaning out behind my refrigerator, on top of my refrigerator. You know, you know how the kitchen gets kind of good, sticky and wood junk. And uh, out behind my stoves and, you know, just pulling everything out, out behind my microwave. I've been just trying to clean things as I go. So that's extra stuff that I've been doing. So anyway, I've been doing something every day pretty much. <laughs> So, I'm tired. Y'all keep me in your prayers. I pray for uh, strength. <laughs> strength and rest right now is what I need. <laughs> but everything's going good. You know, we can't complain. Man, we've been blessed through this. Y'all wouldn't believe how much the man that actually owned the place is taking care of for us. We may have to get new porches. Our porches are kind of getting rotten. We They've been around for years. But, um... Uh, we may get new porches to put on our mobile home. I don't know, because if they don't fit over there the way they fit over here, they may have to be cut down, or we may just go buy new porches. I don't know. But, you know, with with everything that's been going on, everything's going great, and uh, we, haven't had, we haven't worried about anything, really. Everything's been going smooth and perfect so far. So, hopefully next week. Oh, and a lot of the people around here, some people had to move out of their mobile home because they're old and they just leaving them because they're really, some of them can't even be um, uh, moved and, you know, have power put back on them unless they were totally redone and stuff. So a lot of people are moving out and just leaving the mobile home sitting. There's two trailers in here that we're uh, renting to own, so they're kind of having to go through a court thing. Um, to deal with that, um, there's a couple trailers already moved out, so everybody seems to be, you know, getting placed somewhere else, everything working out for them, so I'm glad of that. I think a couple of trailers is going to move over here in this other lot, there's like two, I think two or three lots over there available, so I think a couple of them's moving over there, so everybody seems to be having somewhere to go, so that's a good thing, because I was worried about everybody in the beginning, you know, what they were going to do, especially the older folks around here, but anyway, that's it, guys, that's the update for now, um, hopefully I'll be able to do some, uh, footage of them, you know, if I can discreetly do it, I'm not going to get out here in their face and start recording them doing everything, um, but I'm going to try to, you know, get some recording of them moving the trailer and all that stuff for you guys and um, maybe setting it back up or whatever we'll see we'll see how it goes I don't know I've never moved never moved a mobile home so I don't know you know how things are going to go until it happens but I'm going to try to get some footage for you guys so I hope this wasn't too much talking I just wanted to kind of fill you guys in since I hadn't been um, telling you know everything oh and I do want to say baby cash turned one years old the other day I went out there and the man happened to call, it was last Saturday, it was his birthday, and his party was that evening, and then the man calls the day before and says, I want to talk with you guys um, Saturday at 5 o'clock, well, baby Cash's birthday was Saturday at 4 o'clock, so I went out there a little early, 
spent some time with him because I knew I was going to have to leave. So I didn't get to hang around and watch him do a smash cake or anything like that. I just spent some time with him, you know, before the, really before the party started. And I didn't get to see him open his presents or anything like that because I had to be back here to talk to the man and make sure all our questions got answered and all that stuff. So, but you know, it's okay. I'll have many more birthdays with him. And, um, you know, it was a little bittersweet for me. I mean, I enjoyed being there with him for two hours before on his birthday and I got some love from him and, and, um, spent some time with him, but I didn't get to see him, you know, for his first birthday for his, his smash cake and stuff. So, but it's all good. It's all good. Anyway, he turned one years old. Man, time flies on it. So that's everything. I'm going to quit rambling. I hope you guys enjoyed this update. Um, Y'all give me a big thumbs up. Uh, leave me some comments below. And thank you guys for watching my video. I actually made more money this month than I've been making. So I thank you guys for watching my videos. And um, y'all don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell. That way you can be notified when I upload new videos. And I guess I'll see you in my next video. Bye, y'all.